Hello darling and welcome to my channel. My name is Scotty Unfamous and it is my mission in life to teach you all how to live your best whole life which includes proper sex ed, adult toy reviews, reviews of other adult related things and just generally having a good time so that you lot can have the sex lives that you desire. This week I'm going to be reviewing the toy that made me cry. The Bondara Wiggly Wabbit 10 function rotating rabbit vibrator. So on the 19th of February, I ran the Valentine's edition of my signature workshop, How to Live Your Best Whole Life, the Bad Galentine's edition. And guys, it was so good. It's the biggest one that we've had yet. It sold out, which was great. We love when that happens. And it was held in the heart of Fitzrovia at the Edition Hotel in the private bar, the punch room. Guys, the vibes were immaculate. We had tufted velvet sofas. We had a real life like fireplace that they came and they lit it. We had like our own personal butler for the day. There was complimentary drinks. I thought they was gonna give you lot one drink each. I came, they had the whole thing set up good we had 30 lovely ladies we had a photographer for the night and we also had our amazing sponsors bondara who gifted every single one of my attendees this amazing toy which i actually hand selected for you guys i've been reviewing sex toys for about six years now and i think that i'm now at the place where i can tell if a toy is going to be good simply by looking at it i knew I knew that this was going to be something serious. So today I'm going to spill all the tea on this toy. Like I said, it made me cry. So you already know that the score is high. Okay, boss. <laughs> so if you're new here, this is how my reviews go. And if you've been here before, you already know. I'm going to give you the specs of the toy. We're going to do a demo. I'm going to give you my experience, which often includes host stories, where I kind of also update you guys on what I've been using to get myself off. We're all friends here. It's fine. <laughs> and then I give you my final thoughts and my five star ratings, because we know that I love everything that makes me come, particularly this. All of my opinions are always honest. It doesn't matter if it's sponsored or anything if there's something i don't like i'm gonna tell you because i don't want you guys to like go into something thinking this is gonna be fantastic because scotty said and then you try it and you're like bitch this is shit so just know that while you're here you will never be steered wrong oh and guys just a heads up for if you want this toy i am going to put a link to my site in the description below because listen youtube just be on some shit with the community guidelines and sometimes it don't like me linking you lot to certain sites so simply click the link that's in the description below and it will have a link for this toy in there because on my website everything goes <laughs> So this toy describes itself in the title as being a 10 function vibrator whereas actually it's got 14 different settings if you count them both together so you have 10 in the clitoral stimulator and you have four in the g-spot stimulator now the total length of the toy is nine inches but the insertable length of the shaft is four and a half and it has a diameter of 1.43 inches so it's a good girth like when you put it in you're gonna feel it but you know sometimes some toys are a bit chunky it's not gonna like spread out the team <laughs> but you're gonna feel it go in the tip of the toy is phallic shaped but this actually makes it really great for its rotating function let me tell you about the rotating function so as i said it has four different settings the first three are different speeds and then the fourth one it does a kind of it does a reach around <laughs> It's like a reverse setting so it spins one way and it spins the other which i will obviously demonstrate to you guys when we do the demo and not only does the toy rotate in the shaft which you will see later when i get to the demo it actually has four rows of beads so as the shaft rotates the beads also rotate separately <sighs> it's a lot it's a lot the clitoral stimulator is a lovely chunky bunny the body sits well inside of your vulva it's wide enough to make sure it's kind of resting against the labia as well and then the ears are flexible and that's where a lot of the vibration comes through so you can either have a very full-on sensation with 
the body rested against you or you can ease it up a bit by just using the tips depending on how you position it inside of yourself it comes with three buttons along the front you have the power button the rotation button and the vibration button so this button is going to power the shaft and this button is going to power the bunny bondara's wiggly wabbit vibrator is made of silicone and abs plastic so it is 100 percent body safe and it's also waterproof which we love and as you guys know i love it is usb rechargeable it's one of those magnetic chargers as a dual stimulation toy it has dual motors so there's not going to be any loss of sensation when you turn on one part of it because they're both powered separately now i don't know how the toy normally comes but i had like over 30 of them sent to my house in a huge box so the packaging made sense but normally Bondara toys come in a box so my one came in this sealant bag and then inside of it we had the charger and the toy ready the science station So we have our science station ready, we have our toy, let's get into it. So I'm going to start off with the G-Spot stimulator, then I will go to the clitoral vibrator. To turn it on, we're going to press and hold the centre button, and we're going to go through setting number one. Two. Three. And four. Is it worth it? Let me work it. From an end up to the end and then press and hold to turn it off now we're going to do the clitoral simulator so press to turn it on setting number one two three four So as you can see here on the back there are two little dots which match the dots on the charger and you're simply going to bring it close and it's going to when it's charging the central button will glow now on to my experience if you follow me on instagram you will know that i am in my smut reading era which has obviously just made me worse than i've already was i've been on tiktok and i've got wrapped up in book talk which is actually what triggered my smutty journey <laughs> About two years ago, I gifted myself Audible for my birthday. Yes, you should buy birthday presents for yourself because you deserve. And it has been a roller coaster because I will be out like at the train station and just standing in a sea of people listening to the most depraved shit. So my latest foray has been into the Ice Planet Barbarian series, which went viral on TikTok by Ruby Dixon. This is like a series of books, by the way. I'm on book number six. I think there's like 20 books in the series. They're like these big blue aliens with horns and these dicks that have clitoral stimulators built on them. I just, <laughs> I'm actually gonna do like a proper review of this series because I'm obsessed. Anyway, the book is very hot. The, the sex is great. It's just like a series of stories about how these aliens end up mating with the humans. I say all that to say this. <laughs> there was a scene that kind of got to me. And I was like, now is the time to test the device. And I got comfortable. And I mean, I couldn't like do it to the story because the story actually has plot and all of it sexy. So I did what I have been doing for a while, guys. Audio porn. The audio that I selected for this day was actually a medical... <laughs> ha! New King Unlocked. It was a medical setting and it was like a like, naughty doctor and he was like examining you for... I don't know, you're trying to get pregnant or some shit. So he's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna, we're gonna do like fertility checks. And it, yeah, it's so it's like a medical slash breeding kink audio. 
I know. Leave me alone. <laughs> when I was ready, I proceeded. Every once in a while, a toy comes along that shakes me to my core. And this, this gem was one of them. I shed tears. I don't think a sex toy has ever made me cry. No, none has. This toy made me cry. Like a tear actually left my eye and I was embarrassed for myself, but also really proud of Bondara because well done you. This is phenomenal. And I've even had like feedback from some of the girls from my workshop who have tested the toy. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We're loving it. Like it's it's so good. As I said earlier, when you put it in, it's not like too girthy. So it, it slots in nicely. And I turned on the rotator once it was inside. I turned this to the second setting, so it's a bit faster. And then I think I left the rabbit on setting number one or two. I had actually genuinely intended to go through all the settings on the toy. Well, most of them, not all of them, because we all know how I am about going through all the settings. But I intended to do more than the first settings, which is what I normally do. I could not hold on. When it's inside, I feel like I have to give you guys a bit of like sex ed science lesson right now. The way that the poussoir is set up, obviously, is that we have the clitoris and this is it on the external part of the vulva, which shows. So this is on the external part of the clitoris and it's doing bzzz, with little ears, just bzzz on the clitoris, great. Then around our vaginal wall, we have the rest of the clitoris, which is inside the body. Now, as I said, the length of the shaft is only four and a half inches. So if you want it to like travel to your cervix, you're gonna have to ram it up there. This part, the ergonomic uh, design shaft, which is obviously shaped like the tip of a penis, it is swirling around, like just stirring your coochie like a cauldron. It was like some fucking black magic bitch. Like it's just sweeping past the G-spot and then massaging the rest of the walls. And it was fantastic. Now, the audio is going. The doctor is like, oh, I need to part. You don't need to do that. Anyway, the doctor is doing his thing in my ears. And this thing is, is just doing the reach around. <laughs> and then the the bunny is sitting now i did have to like angle it a bit to discover what i liked more when it was a bit more like downward facing i kind of got like a shallower penetration and more of the tips of the ears but when i angled it upwards i could have more of the body of the rabbit sitting against me and the ears also the body is thick enough that it's actually going to like stimulate your labia as well which i think is brilliant not enough toys stimulate your labia the first two to three inches of your vagina is the most sensitive. Those first two to three inches have four rows of beads just swirling around and it was fucking heavenly. I tried to do my little lazy thing that I like to do which is stick it in and clamp it between my thighs but I actually found that that lazy bitch trick didn't work with this. <laughs> it stifled the motion of the toy so i was like fine i'll open my legs like a whore <laughs> it actually stayed in place and then the motion of that sort of like moved the end of it as well and then it also kind of helped the clitoral stimulator to move as well so everything is just going imagine this is kind of like stroking you while it's vibrating and oh, speaking of vibrating Guys, when the shaft is on and you have the clitoral stimulator on, the vibrations from the simulator travel up the shaft. Oh my god. Everything was happening to me. <laughs> this is what the toy was doing. Everything was going so well. And then my brain said, I want to see if I can feel it against my cervix. So I tried to do a bit of ramajama. I was like, mm, that's not really working. But then I discovered that when I moved it, now it was like, and I was like, this is great. <laughs> so I added a little bit of thrusting. Who told me to do that? 
who told me to do that it was all downhill from there depending on how you look at it, it was technically uphill but it was downhill from there because i wanted to sit through the whole audio until he told me that it was time for me to yes I didn't make it that far. I don't even think I was going for three minutes. Because it started building and then the, the student the quinting, you know, the clench, the push clench, and the beads, and then the stroking and the I feel it coming. So I said, I'm not ready yet. So I thought, let me just let go and just leave the toilet. I was already too far gone by then. It was too late. It just happened. And it was phenomenal. This tear rolled out of my motherfucking eye so slowly, so cinematic. It was just like, you know, when you hear like the angel sounds like, ah, it was good. Oh my god, it was so good that I didn't even fling it across the room when I was done because we know how I like to do that. I'd left it in there. I was like, this is so good, I want to do it again right now. Now, remember, I said that. Uh, the reason this died is because I didn't charge it. It died inside me And I was really close to doing it again. I was really close I was on the cusp and it died and I was sad. We could have had two home runs and Here we are with one and a half <laughs> You know when like, the toy is doing the job and you're on the cusp of the finisher and then it dies and you just, you kind of resign yourself to okay, well I guess I'll just use my hand and it's not the same. It's not the same. I tried, I said, fuck this. I just, I had just had a nap. Anyway. <laughs> so that was my experience. It was just, it's so good. It is so, so, so good. Bondara, you deserve awards. This is smashing. So the pros, it's fucking sensational. Okay, it just feels great. I don't think that anybody can try this and hate it. It is really good. It's really powerful. It literally, it covers all of the bases. On the website, it actually looks like it's like a matte gold. But when it came, it was shiny. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I like shiny. It's very, very easy to use. Three simple buttons and you just press and click. Great. If you are of differing abilities, do I think this would be good for you? I'm not sure. Because it does stay in place, but like I said, it brought me closer to the edge once I started moving it. So if you do have like mobility issues, maybe not. But if you can like move your hands and stuff, great. Very, very easy to clean. It's waterproof. USB rechargeable. Love that because I don't like buying batteries. <laughs> now the, the cons. It's loud. My decibel meter is now on. I'm going to turn on the toy. While it's close to the phone, it's giving me between 40 to 50 decibels which is like quiet office, quiet street, library, park. 40 decibels for it to be this close to the phone isn't that bad. I'm gonna move it across the room and see what the difference is. Across the room, it's giving me 30 decibels, which is like whisper slash quiet room. I'm gonna take it out of the room with me and you guys can tell me if you can hear it. So I've left it next door and I can't hear it at all. Okay, maybe it's not that loud. Maybe I will give them a point back. But it just feels loud. Let me get the toy. <laughs> when I had it next door and I read the rating on the decibel meter, it literally read as 20 decibels, which is like mosquito slash rustling leaves. So that was really good. Okay, that's not a con then. Oh, one of my other cons is, I don't even know if it's a thing for you guys but I am a packaging whore. And as I said, I don't know if it was just sent in the foil bag because obviously I had like 30 of them being delivered to my house in a giant box. I like an unboxing experience. I like little velvet bags and things. So yeah, the packaging for me didn't like hit the way that I like it to hit, but the product is really good. So at the end of the day, that's what's important. And I end up chucking the boxes away anyway, so it doesn't really matter yeah these aren't real complaints the only real complaint i had was the sound for my five star rating i mean it made me cry i'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it five stars you got it 